What's happening, party people? You guys staying, uh, staying safe? You know, watching, uh, some Netflix? Maybe Hulu? I don't know what you guys watch on that stuff anymore. I heard there's some good shows out there. If I'm into the cooking shows, Last Table does not disappoint. Chopped? Awesome. And if you got the time, Zumbo. Not kidding you. Zumbo's Treats. Amazing. What a great show. All right. So uh, here we're going to get started with 7.6.1. All right. Doesn't really matter. I believe we're just going to call it 7.6. But this is what the notes say. It says factor AX squared plus BX plus C. All right. Big difference here is actually this guy. All right. So let's review what we've been doing. That's been, um, just real quick, we have x squared plus 10x plus 21. Um, and what we've been doing here is we've been trying to factor this out. So what we did was we would take 21, we would break it down to 1 and 21, 3 and 7, and we would look for the pairs of factors that added up to 10. So that was 22, no bueno. 3 and 7, that's 10, so we would have picked the 3 and 7 and broken this up to x plus 3 times x plus 7, all right? But now we got a problem. It's like it threw a wrench into the mix, okay? Now it's, what do I do when I have this um, middle term, or not middle term, a term? What do I do when I have this a term, okay? So let's look at example one, okay? All right, all you cool cats and kittens. All right, so we have 2x squared minus 11x plus 5. All right, so we have this, and um, the way I've been taught and the way I've seen other teachers teach it, and I want to remain consistent with everybody, is it's the British method. I don't know why it's called the British method. I didn't even know that a method existed um, for a long time, I just kind of did a guess and check. But this way uh, works, and it's kind of simple, and it's, it, it's pretty concrete. So I think it's going to work best for us. So what we do is we take this first term, which is no longer 1. Okay, in this case it's 2, and we're going to take the last term, which is 5. And we're going to do 2 times 5, and that's 10. So we have uh, 10x here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for the factors of 10, okay, that add up to negative 11. So sometimes it can be a little tricky here. So the way I uh, kind of think about it is I don't worry too much about the signs. I just first start out with the factors. So we have 1 and 10, 2 and 5. And I'm looking, look at these and see which one of those could give me 11. All right, so I'm looking, this could be a 3 or this could be a 7. It's not that. All right, 1 in 10, obviously we know we can get 11 here. So we want negative 11, so it's negative 1 and negative 10. That's how I go about it. I kind of, that's where my guess and check comes in. I kind of really focus on 10, breaking it down into the factors, 1 and 10, 2 and 5. And then I look at those without the signs to see, can I get 11? How do I get 11? And the only way I can get 11 from these numbers are the 1 and 10. So now I come here and I'm going to write this as 2x squared minus 1x minus 10x. See my factors? Okay. Plus 5. Now this is where it's a little tricky, okay? It's a little tricky and I want you to notice something, okay? We have four terms here. We have numbers in the front and we have numbers in the back. And that's how I'm going to break it up. Numbers in the front. Numbers in the back. Okay? So I put in parentheses there to kind of help me out. So the number in the front, what do they have in common? Well, they both have an x. Okay, and there's 2x squared and a minus 1x. So I'm going to pull an x out of that. What do these guys have in common? What does my back half number have in common? Well, I can pull out a negative 5, and I want to pull out a negative 5 
because I want this first number to be positive. So I'm going to pull out a negative 5, okay? So when I pull out a negative 5, this is going to be negative 10 divided by negative 5. That's a 2, so it's 2x. 5 divided by negative 5, that's a negative 1. Now we have this, okay? So I broke this up. Front half is green, back half is blue, okay? And I want you to look at this piece and this piece. Do you see how they're the same? Since they're the same, we're going to factor that out. Okay? So when I factor that out, I'm going to write it over here because I have a little bit of room. Okay, I'm going to pull that out front. So I'm going to write that thing they have in common, which is 2x minus 1. And then I'm going to write what's left. What's left here was the x, that green x. And what's left there is that blue negative 5. So that's my answer. A little tricky, but you'll get the hang of it, okay? So that's example one. Okay, let's look at um, number two. Number two says five n squared plus 2n minus 3. So my first step here is I'm going to do 5 times negative 3. That's negative 15. <laughs> n, all right? So I have negative 15 n. And now I'm going to be breaking down 15 to, you know, its factors to see which ones can give me a 2. So 15, again, I don't worry about the signs just yet. 1 and 15, 3 and 5, okay? And I'm saying, hmm. Can I get 2 from 1 to 15? No, because I'm either going to get like a 14 or a 16. But 3 and 5, yeah, those, those I can get a 2 from, okay? Now, I need a positive 2, so it's going to be a negative 3 and a positive 5. Remember, this was a negative 15, so that's why one of these has to be negative. So it's going to be negative 3 and positive 5. So I'm going to write this as 5n squared minus 3n plus 5n minus 3. Now, it doesn't matter what uh, order I put that in, okay? I'm uh, simply going to write it like this, okay? I could have put the 5 up front and the 3 in the back, okay? But this is how I wrote it, so this is what, what I'm going with, okay? And I think it goes to show a good point here, and you'll see that point. So I have numbers in the front. I have numbers in the back. Numbers in front. They only share an n. All right, notice 3 and 5. Can't factor out anything. But an n I can. So that leaves me with 5n minus 3. Back there. I like that. Why do I like 5n minus 3? Because I see a 5n minus 3. Okay? Now here, they don't share anything. And this is where kids get confused. They don't share anything. So I pull out a 1. And I pull out the 1 because it's a placeholder, okay? Because when I do this step, when I pull that piece out that they both share, I need something back there to hold that place. So when I do that, I have an N left up front and a 1 in the back. And there we go. Sorry, my dog wanted to go outside. I don't even know why. It's not even sunny. Now she's staring at me like she wants to come back in. It's ridiculous. All right. See? Told you. All right. Let's do two more. Three and four. Okay. So... Let's look at number three. Number three says 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. First step, I'm going to multiply them together. I get 6. So I'm looking at my factors of 6 that are going to, in some way, shape, or form, give me a 5. All right, so I have 1 and 6, 2 and 3. Notice both of these could give me, okay, they both could give me a 5. 
All right. So we have six minus one gives me a five, and three plus two gives me a five. So now I, I got to figure this out. All right. So here I need them to multiply to give me positive six, but add up to a negative five. And if you remember from back earlier, the sign rules that I gave you guys, okay? If it was a minus positive, it meant that they had to both be negative, okay? So here, my signs would both have to be negative because of those rules I gave you um, early on. I forget what section, but I gave them. I wrote them at the top of my notes, probably like seven, six, seven, four, I don't know, 7.3, who knows? It's at the top of paper, okay? Probably find them for you real quick. Yep, seven five. Not even close, Harmon. Wasn't even that close. Seven five. Room at the top of the paper, though. Okay. So you can go back and check my notes for seven five at the top to get those sign changes. Okay. It's a negative positive. It means they both have to be negative. Okay. So here I have two negatives. So this is going to be three x squared. Now watch. I'll write this one before. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, so here I have numbers in the front, numbers in the back. See if you guys can do this while I get my dog some food. Okay, she's a little moody right now. Oh boy, guys, she's getting excited. For this. Oh, I dropped my food. No, got to do it live. It's amazing. It's like interactive. Okay, so here we go. So I have things at the front, things at the back. I'm going to pull out what's similar in the front. What's a common factor. That's why we did that section. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a 3x here. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, okay? x divided by or x squared divided by x is x. Negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. X, so there we go. Here, I'm going to pull out a 2. Okay. All right. And I'm actually going to pull out a negative 2. So that first term is positive. So I have x minus 1. They both share an x minus 1. So my answer will be x minus 1. And then I write what's left. It's 3x minus 2. Bada bing, bada boom. Cool student in the room. All right. All right, number four. I get 4x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, so I'm going to do... Negative 4 times 3, that's negative 12. All right. So I like to focus on, you know, again, the factors 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. I'm looking for the ones that can give me a 4 in the middle. So I'm thinking 2 and 6, because 6 minus 2 is 4. Okay. So. Remember, it has to multiply to give me negative 12, so it has to be, one of them has to be negative, the other has to be positive. You look back at those rules. All right, here, okay. I uh, know that if the lat, or if the term here is negative and I need a positive in the middle, all right, the larger number is gonna be positive. So negative two times six is negative 12, negative two plus six is positive four. So I'm gonna write negative four x squared, Minus 2x plus 6x plus 3. That was weird. I think my dog ate too fast. So, I noticed they share a negative 2x. I'm going to pull that out. 4 divided by 
ne or negative 4 divided by negative 2 is 2. x squared divided by x is x. And that is going to be 1. Here, I'm going to pull out a 3. So I pull out a positive 3. So it's going to be 2x plus 1. Notice they're both the same, so it's going to be 2x plus 1 times negative 2x plus 3. And there we go. All right, so there's four problems at the bottom. All right, I am going to let you guys uh, try these on your own. When you feel ready, I'll post the next video so you guys can check out uh, the answers to that.